Hi everyone, my name is Grant K and welcome to my blog. A short time ago, I published videos detailing the tracking tools in Autodesk Smoke. In today's video, I'm going to be dealing with another type of tracking challenge when your objects need to be tracked going off screen. I'm going to be using the Action 3D Compositor to demonstrate this, but you'll be able to use this technique in any area of the software where you find the tracking tools. So here we have a simple action setup. I am using the dual view split to show the camera result on the right view and the action schematic on the left view. What we have got is a single image object over a moving background. We would like to replace the symbol on this valve with our smiley face. Scrubbing through the time bar, you can see that at the end of the shot, the valve goes off screen. So you can clearly see the challenge, but it's not an issue for Autodesk Smoke. Let's go back to frame one. By double clicking on the axis node in the schematic, this will bring up its object menu. To the left of the interface are the tracking options. In this case, we are just going to track position. So we can click the stabilizer and enter into the tracking module. Now, we can place the tracker box over the valve symbol by clicking in the center of the tracker box and dragging it to a good position. We'll place it on the leftmost side of the symbol as this will be on the screen for the most amount of frames. Let's perform the track by pressing the Analyze button. Autodesk Smoke will start tracking the background with sub-pixel accuracy, but obviously, at the end of the shot, there is nothing to track and the tracker box loses its reference. A good hotkey to remember is Alt-D. By pressing Alt-D numerous times, you can delete the bad keyframes from the track. So let's delete all the bad keyframes until we have returned to the last accurately tracked keyframe. Because this frame is the last best reference to the track, we'll press the snap button to the left of the interface. This makes the frame our new reference for the off-screen tracking we're about to do. Now we are going to go to the last frame of the shot where the valve symbol has been off screen for some time. Just to point out, there are no keyframes between the last good keyframe and the end of the shot. To perform this off screen track, we need to set the cursor from move to add through the blue pop up menu. Now hold down the shift hotkey on the keyboard and we can click and drag anywhere on the image and we will get an overlay of the reference image over the current frame. We can see how a keyframe has been created at the current frame and Autodesk Smoke works out the animation path between the two keyframes. Simply line up the frames and this should give us an accurate off-screen track. If we needed to adjust the newly created keyframe, simply switch back to the move mode with the blue pop-up menu. You can then adjust the keyframe accordingly. The reference overlay will return and we can accurately line up the frames. Once we're happy with the result, we can press the return button to the left of the interface to exit the tracker module and back to action. We can see that when we scrub the time bar, the smiley face moves with the movement of the background. The last thing remaining is to position the smiley face correctly. Switch to the node bin and double click on the axis node to add a new axis to the schematic. By breaking and reconnecting the connections between the nodes, the tracking data is now at the topmost axis and we can use the second axis to perform the offset. Double click on the second axis node to bring up its object menu. Let's start off by shrinking the smiley to 20%. We'll also reposition the X value to 70 and the Y value to minus 30. Since the front of the valve is at an angle, we'll also rotate the smiley to 5 degrees for both the X and Y rotation. 
finally, we'll go to frame 1 and press the process button located to the left of the interface. Once our render is complete, we can review the results in the player. Our smiley now tracks beautifully on and off the screen. The tracking technique that we looked at can also help you manually track in the middle of a shot. For example, you can have someone going behind an object and reappearing and you can manually track the in-between bit. This is definitely helpful and you can use this tracking technique as many times as you like during an existing tracking session. If you'd like to know any more information about Autodesk Smoke or you'd like to download the free 30-day trial copy, just visit autodesk.com forward slash Smoke for Mac. Thanks for watching and bye for now.